Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. What's going on guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome to another NBA playoffs of the conference semifinals. This is the first matchup here in game one in round two, as the Utah Jazz face on against the Phoenix Suns. So we're checking out to see how well they do. And I haven't seen this game just like that for anybody. It looks like a Jazz would have got a chance to go face against the Suns in the conference finals, but they went short and the Clippers took it all. Well, now it's their turn to take on against the Suns because the Clippers are out of, in a playoff position. So it looks like the Suns are about to meet their next opponent team in the Western Conference. This is the Utah Jazz. As the starting lineups has occurred, Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Royce O'Neal, Bohan Bogdanovich, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, McCall Bridges, Jay Crowder, and DeAndre Ayton. And a key matchup is Devin Booker against Donovan Mitchell. Now it's time to bring you over to the Footprint Center to get started for this game. I will be back here for the halftime show and post-game show once the first and second half is over. And now, the commentator reporting down on the other end will be OJ and me phone. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the game. 2K Sports, welcome to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. You can feel that the Footprint Center is happening here in Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you so much, dear Center Beast. And along with me and OJ, this is the NBA Playoffs in the Western Conference of the Semifinals for tonight's game. Along with me and OJ, Ali LaForce will take it here from the sideline on court. So right now, here are the standing here that we go for Devin Booker. This season was 26.8. 32% as you use, 5 games was 13.2, and 27% was just hard that he had. It's all because of what they have done, because Devin Booker was getting their vote. Now it's time to get things over to Ali LaForce. Ali. Ryan, thank you. Donovan Mitchell's mantra is Don, determination over negativity. He said, quote, I pride myself on being a team player. I'm going to trust my work and keep moving forward. Guys, he is responding. Sure, oh, sure is. is. Thank you very much, Sir Ali. And right now, as you can see right in this section, all players are ready to hydrate up, and the key matchup is Donovan Mitchell and Devin Booker. The one thing for me about Devin Booker is that um, he's been playing very hard so far. After because of his injury here in Game 1, they're looking for their teams to make a win here in this challenge. But now, for Donovan Mitchell, I've always seen him, never been playing an injured so far. So I think this will be a, a very nice game. I think we're ready to go. The Phoenix Suns and Jazz are start the game now, all fueled up and ready to go. Here are the starting lineups here as Aiton is covered by Gobert. Then it's Bridge on O'Neal. Conley against Chris Paul. Man Mitchell against Booker. And on the other hand now, it is Crowder against Royce O'Neal. The one thing about uh, Rudy Gobert, we talked about it here before, sometimes the, the only way that gets things in the way here, that Rudy Gobert was the ultimate defensive player of the game. He did complete for the first round, but for real life, he did not, because uh, all the teams, the Dallas Mavericks, made a great save out that playing drive, and they have a lot of average to, keep, to pick up their his career. Now he knows it for himself to get right into it. Here's Donovan Mitchell on Booker. Covers it up. Oliver Crowder. This rebounds off by DeAndre Ayton. He gets his second rebound. Two rebounds calls for handing, but now this is the only time that they want. The jump ball is called in between Paul and Gobert. Just about under four minutes left to play in the first quarter. And now they will be heading their way up again. Utah wins the jump ball. Conley on ball. He just is off to Mitchell. 
Last time it was Conley that made the buzz beater here in game three, here in uh, in the regulation period. And also with uh, with the other player of Donovan Mitchell, he wants to give you things off. This only does tell not to be a, one of the biggest kind of a game. I really like to see that Chris Paul wants to get the buzz beater. And sometimes they want their team to go to overtime here too. The first foul is called on Chris Paul, and that will be their first team foul called on for Phoenix. Moan Bogdanovich, he is the only man for himself that he made a buzz beater here in a second overtime. The double OT, game winner. That's what we call it for him, for him tonight. And I think he wants to get up, uh, hyped up, but he wants to try to avoid the crowd with the thunderclap. First free throw is, is good for Bogdanovich. Two free throws is good for Bogdanovich. Here's Paul. He is able to play this game here with a winning streak here in the first round of the NBA playoffs in the quarterfinals. And now he has some work to do here to play against the next opponent team. Bridges inside. And a box. Good for McCall Bridges. That's a two-point lead for the Phoenix Suns. Devin Booker has his first assist. Of course now that you can go for Nicole Bridges, the good angle on the shot in the way down low. That was a, a remarkable play. Now Bridges has his ball. Just about three minutes left. McCall Bridges going in the paint. Inside, he scores. McCall Bridges gets his second bucket. It's 6-2 Phoenix, Arizona of the Suns. The Suns are worried to be hot. There it looks like they wanted to go back to the playoff of in the Western Conference Finals. And then if they're good enough here, they can go right into this one. I'm telling you why. There is no question to be asked here. Any in between. Rudy Gobert off in the drive. DeAndre Ayton has the ball. And that's three in a row. Now he will dish it off to Paul. Now he moves right over to Aiden. Aiden goes right back to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Inside now, the layup is good for Chris Paul. CP3 really knows this detail. This situation could be a lot harder than the ice. Two minutes remaining. Only two minutes left here in the first quarter as it's now an 8-2 game. Donovan Mitchell can't hit the two. And coming up with a loss here, we always talked about here for the real game. That was happening here before in game number six. That was very hard for him. And a very, a very disappointing effort here for Utah Jazz. Yeah, we would have called it here for the upset. It looks like that Donovan Mitchell would have, would have helped his team to get back up here in front and then go right to game seven. But all of a sudden, this happens to be a huge, terrible call. So it was very disappointing how this happened. McCall Bridges, a first block for Phoenix Suns, and now they had a turnover for the Utah Jazz. Oh, this off to Bridges. Aiden inside, shoots up, that's good. Aiden gets his first bucket, and it's now a 10-2 lead for the Suns. Utah trail by eight, timeout called by Utah with a minute and one to go. Just about the, before the end of the first quarter has appeared. There is just a lot much happening here. What a start year for the Phoenix Suns to kick it off their record here for tonight. New groups of changes here for the Phoenix Suns and for the Utah Jazz. As we have, this is on white side. And nearing the wrapping up here, this regulation season has already been concluded here for the third time here for tonight. Yeah, but I know what you're thinking. There might be someone else out there that wants to get right through it. And I think there might be, uh, might be a great person to give it a try and give it up their run. Excellent D here by JaVale McGee as the first rebound will be on Dorian Craig. Now he finds Johnson. Look at that beauty pass for Craig. He's got his first assist of the night. And it's Johnson with the first bucket. Now that's what you call a quick outside here. That's what you really wanted to make them pay for. 
McGee with the rebound as right now Dorian Correa just goes back the other way. Now he just off the paint. The screen coming here for Johnson. He bounce passes, gets a little bit off of the kick ball violation, but no thing is called. Johnson almost lost it. Payne for two. Got it. That's a two-pointer for Payne. And first assist comes up here for JaVale McGee. JaVale McGee, that's the only tall man. That's the uh, secondary man advantage here in the center. But it looks like that DeAndre Eaton wasn't hurt. All of it because of what happens here, it gets him a hard time. Three seconds to go. Payne will close out the first quarter. It's 14 to four. Suns lead by 10. Second quarter is coming up right along the way when we come back for the playoffs of the conference semifinals. Thinking back from when I started, you know, overseas, summer camps, mini camps, to where I am now, you know, just an honor to be in the position that I am. I'm grateful for the opportunity, so. And I can tell my story to the younger kids. Just the journey, never give up. And now, man, it looks like that uh, Royce O'Neal has got some great memories out of you for his story. He's overseeing this broad. Now he is looking for his chance to be uh, being here with the team. The second quarter starts right now as you catch up here for today. And we got a 14-4 lead here for the Suns. And now it's Cameron Johnson with the second bucket. And it's now 16-4 for the Phoenix Suns. Now Whiteside will deliver it outside. Clarkson, double man coming in here. Alexander Walker inside, two-pointer gives him a good feed. Assisted. He's got his first bucket here in this game. And there's Hazan Whiteside with the assist. I'm not, I haven't never seen uh, Alexander Walker playing his uh, time in career, but I have never heard of it before because there is something going on but I really like to check it out. Shaman dishing back to Payne. Five to shoot. Two again for Payne. Goes off target here as Whiteside gets his first rebound. And that's not what you want to do because uh, because if you misfire it, well, there might be a salute option that they need to get right through it. Here's Payne following along the basket by Pashto. Payne dishes off to Shaman. In the feed, Payne. Cameron Johnson deflects the ball. Craig has it back. Shav it for two. He delivers it outside with a three-pointer range. While Shaman, you can call that one here, he has his first bucket for three in the second round. I think he's now wanting to go for, for his game to stick beers with his team. Gay right to Alexander Walker for three. He misses off wide as Craig takes his own rebound. He's at number two in a row. Craig right back to McGee. Long bounce pass to Shamit. With the shot, takes a feed out, and it's McGee with the assist. Shamit really knows his way through. Now he has five points in the game. Now I think he might go for our one. And now the timeout is being called out by Utah with just uh, 2.48 to go. 21 to 8. What a fantastic run here for the Suns. It looks like they might be changing things up here on, on offense and giving it another whirl. I have always seen that the, the, the most players really wanted to fix things up a bit. I don't know what to say about them, but that's a, that's a lot of hard pressure to tell. There's another way to get right around it if there's a, a player that wants to give it another try. I don't know if we can definitely uh, give it another shot, but it looks like there might be some uh, another way to get right by it. A new group substitution here for the Suns and for the Jazz as Mike Conley is checked in for Alexander Walker. And taking a look at the stat for Chris Paul. He is on a double run here for his, for the league leaders for the season. 10.8 is his overall career that he has been played so far. And, you know, I can definitely tell that CP3 was definitely doing really well. I don't know what to say about him, but there is a great chance for this opportunity to give him another world. Crowder outside the range, gets it to go. It's Booker with the assist. Jay Crowder, what an unstoppable player he has all alone. Conley working in the paint. 
And Bogdanovich will deliver a two, assisted by Conley. That will be a second bucket for Bogdanovich. It's now a 24-ton game here for the first half. Ball, this is up to Crowder. The Suns are moving the ball, shifting right to left. Now about two minutes left here for the first half. Booker outside. Six to shoot, drives inside, and one. That's a Phoenix uh, scoring drive with the foul and one. This foul goes on to Donovan Mitchell, his first personal. And Booker has definitely gotten a great chance. He is a stoppable run out there. What a show. Monty Williams is the head coach here for the Phoenix Suns. And Quinn Snyder for the Utah Jazz, as I kept forgetting about before the tip-off was being released. And the free throw will deliver Booker for no time. Jazz trailing by 17. This is off to Conley. Now rolls back to Mitchell. Screen rejected off. Free up. And it went off the rim. Hayden now delivers it up to make him the second time to get right by it. Crowder rolls off to Paul. Open side, Paul. Good look, open feed. But the shot went too hard. It's too hard to uh, go with the uh, offensive uh, look inside. That's what's going to be a very tough one to get by. What a rejection here for DeAndre Ayton, but the scoring drive was late. That was Rudy Gobert with his first bucket. Now that's what they have called it here before. That, that is because nobody else is looking for a man to get right by for him. They need to get right through it. Bridges back to Crowder. Bates takes the shoot. And McDonough takes a steal. O'Neal coming in fast break. And a quick foul is called on Jay Crowder. That will be another personal foul on Crowder. And first team foul delivers up for Arizona. That is a very tough one. I have never seen something going on because that is very different than nobody has ever had heard. I looks like it's too hard for him to give him another shot. Too much, uh, too much pressure. Two shots coming up for Donovan Mitchell. Only stopped the clock at 49.2 seconds to go. The first free throw sends it in. And you're calling for Donovan Mitchell, but um, that's the only, uh, the only person that you could tell. But he is now the uh, best player to be in the All-Star. There's a lot of voting chance that they wanted to give him another try. The second free throw for Mitchell sends it in. Only 46 seconds left to play in the first half of the period. Paul oh, wishes off the bridges. As you may know, 28 points for last night against Dallas Mavericks did have a win. They are just a great tough game here to be here in game one. And for game two, that is a hard workout run. Great drive here by Donovan Mitchell. And now they're coming back in well, by 13. Ball moves it around to Bridges. Bounce pass off to Crowder. Shoots over McDonovich. Pump fade! And he gets his another bucket here for Jay Crowder. That's a lucky good open feed. O'Neal for three, gets it to go, and nobody is around him, and it's now coming down the wire, only five seconds. Devin Booker will close the range here. Yeah, that'll be off the target. Now it's now the end of the first half, 29 to 19. We'll be right back with the second half coming back after the halftime show. And we start the third quarter. We'll see you all there later after this. Well, those commentaries are definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you very much, dear Meat Phone. As I have nothing else to say, it was an awesome run to make a start down for Phoenix Suns. Let's see how well they did for the first half recap.
The first half report has comes in for a statistic board. And now we'll wrap things up here for a halftime show. Time to head you back down to Arizona to start the third quarter. Back to you guys. Thank you so much. As we're about to start the third quarter, it's now a 29-19. Glad you can join us here for today. As this time, we all have some celebrating to get those things off to Devin Booker. Yeah, for Devin Booker, I always uh, like him as a support. The only effort that did take him down was his, uh, was his empathy, doing a lot of his uh, hustling inbound, and also with his, uh, with his great, great open check here to give it off to the players that wanted to give it a try and try to avoid the defenders. Third quarter is about to start things off, all fueled up and ready to go. McCall reaches up and a two-pointer, rebounded by Jay Crowder, all deflected by Rudy Gobert. He has his first block and the first turnover is released on the Suns. O'Neal for three, and forward taking a little long than expected, but O'Neal's got a three-pointer. They're wiring it down, man. I, I don't know what to tell you that, but they have to get right through it. Bridges rolls back to Booker. Feeds off to Paul. Now Crowder takes a screen. He checks it off. Crowder inside. Driving in the paint. It's good. It's Crowder with seven points and Paul with the assist. He's just got a great start out there for the second half. They're looking for another one to go by. Conley for two. That gets off target as it goes right inbound on Eaton. Ball out to Eaton. Now he rolls back to Paul. Bounce pass to Crowder. Eight to shoot. Pushes inside. The driving inside is no good. That is a very hard defensive effort here. That did turn out to be very hard for him. Three-pointer for Mitchell, nobody around it. And that's all that happened here with another three-point attempt. Booker right back to Bridges. He only receives four points in the first half, but he's looking for a chance now to take the second half. McCall Bridges out there. Right to Booker, five to shoot. They need to get a shot right in time. And up. And a shot went off wide as no good basket for Aiden. Rudy Gobert is on strong pace tonight. And a great off in time is Mitchell. That's another three-pointer and a timeout will be called by Phoenix Suns. They gotta talk things over by now because their offense has to go with a different change. They still got some more time out there. There might be another great inbound in here between the tricks. We talked about here about the Utah Jazz, and they made a standable run here for the Western Conference of the game. This all goes out here, and back in Season 4, they are very close to make the win. And for that time, without any other uh, consuming options, it was all no choice. This was all that happened to be here, one time or another. And I'm telling you this, why or why not? Well, it's because of what they have hit here, right on the bound. This was like a hard, uh, hardcore. I know it was very tricky, but thanks for them, for the uh, number of buckets they already won against the Utah Jazz here at a, at a away game. Very tough and bad. Well, another Western Conference of the matchups in this series. Could be very tricky. New changes are coming in for the Phoenix Suns and the Jazz. As the Keys checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Three players come off the court as Bogdanovich, O'Neal, and Gobert checked out. Whiteside and Gay are checked out, and Gobert right to point forward. And Shamit takes it over to, uh, to Booker, and Chris Paul's checked out, and Cameron Payne is checked back in. Shamit for three, got it! And he has another three-pointer. That's eight points for Shamit. Right on the board, hustle on the bound. You call for Shamit, that's an open tight fire. Finally, right on to Payne. Mitchell for three, off the target, try to hold it back for Rudy Gobert. Mitchell for three, good, that's a rebounding rejecting here for Rudy Gobert and he has his assists all alone. They're down by three, only two minutes left here in the third quarter, it's 34-31. 
McGee, right back to Burgess. Back and over, it's Payne. Payne shoots, fires across here, right behind the three-point line, and it's a and it's a five-point game. Payne left the second bucket. Cameron Payne really wanted to go for it again. And this ball a legal screen offensive foul on Rudy Gay. Foul will be another turnover release. And a chance now for Rudy Gobert of a mobile one block. This block is no question out there. With that reflection, he says, get out of here. That's my only uh, time that I want to uh, defend it all alone here. The claw, Barrett, take it down. New changes here for the Jazz as Mitchell, Clarkson, Pascal, and Gobert switches back to center. Suns lead by five. Payne goes all alone. Well, nobody around him. He wants to do things again. I don't know what's going on with the fence if they should be waking it up. It looks like it might be turned up too slow. Nobody's on him. Screen rejected. Clarkson inside of elbow. Mitchell outside. Three-pointer carries. And it's another assist going out by Jordan Clarkson. They're down by four. They need some help here on offense to give it another try. And it's take away by Rudy Gobert. Mitchell getting ready to go in. Another fast break. Finds Pascal. Gets it to go. They are down by two. This is again a close game into the bounder. The inbounder really has no options in between those two. All because of what Rudy Gobert. They really got some great helping the defense. Now he knows what they can do. Now he wants to help out Torrey and Craig with the screen. Inside, Craig slams down, and it's McGee with the assist. Well, it looks like that Rudy Gobert was just in time. He, he's, he's still alive out there. Not really sure what he can do, but that is all he had. Defensive free second calls on for McGee, and this will have to be a technical free throw coming up for Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, I don't know what to say because they, it was very easy. McGee should have been out here in the paint already, but now this was calling out for Payne that he was already out before McGee just stepped out. It was too long to go right through it. First free throw for Mitchell has knocked it in there and a down by three. Now a new change up here as Alexander Walker checks in for Rudy Gobert. Other players are moving around and for Booker will be checking in for Shamit. Also with uh, Johnson tapping in for uh, for Craig and Reagan checking in for McGee. Clarkson going up and we have a loose ball. The personal going on. Terry Paschal. I have never seen that. It looks like Perry Paschal was bumping him out. He was bumping too hard. And now all of a sudden this was going to be a very tough call. Now it, it was easy call because that was was a uh, was a foul that delivered him up. And it would be too hard to make him carry on. Aiden outside, five seconds to shoot. Booker inside, delivers a throw of the layup drive. Booker gets a second, gets a seven points in the game. And this one ends up the third quarter. This all turns out to be then, a lot of in between, trick to trick. 42 to 37 is your score. Fourth quarter is coming up next. After this. And it's going to be approached the fourth quarter right now. It is now a 42 37 game. This is a very rough inbounding here for the first game here tonight. What do you think, OJ? I know. I really like this uh, this game so much right now. I think the Jazz and the, and the Suns can be the only way to get right by it. But I'm thinking there might be another way to go right through it. If the Mavericks loses again, well, there might be someone out there. And a Bogdanovich making a three-pointer. This gun comes down by two. Now here's Booker. He delivers off to Paul. Back over to Booker. Paul right back to Crowder. Crowder trying to make a move on Bogdanovich. Six to shoot. Shout out Crowder, drive in, that's good. Crowder gets nine points. It's a four point lead for the Suns. Now Mitchell delivers off to Clarkson. 
Now Crowder, O'Neal, Adonovich, which chips away by Johnson. And another miss by Utah. This is all that did turn out to be them. That was a very tough inbound here, but no foul was given up. Crowder right back to Paul. Paul trying to deliver it. Crowder inside, gets a number two pointer. 11 points for Crowder. And it's, and it's Chris Paul with the assist. That's four assists here in a game. That was a deliver up here on offense. Best play ever. The foul is reached on DeAndre Ayton, his first, and this will be another first team foul on the Suns. At the line for the Jazz, Eric Pascal at the line for two. First free throw delivers him. And I like the way that Eric Paschko has made him play here before. After playing with the Golden State Warriors, now he wants to get things off here to go with the Utah Jazz. And no, another substitution comes in for Utah as Conley is checked in. The second free throw for Paschko is good. Here's Paul. Only 3.30 to remain here in the fourth quarter. Paul delivers out to Crowder. Back to Paul. Rolls inside. Booker. Step back. Fade off. Jumper. What a play for Booker. And it's Paul with the assist. Look at that move here. You call that one the step back putter here. That's a great playmaking through. Bashkel goes to delivery now. Reverse dunk. Oh my. I don't know what to say about that, but this is a reversing, reversible dunk that they have never seen it before. I don't know what to say. I have never saw that Eric Pascal got one in there. It couldn't be a very, very hard one to go by. But I want to see some more players doing some reverse dunks. Crowder outside. Four to shoot. A nice D by Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson really does that one here. He knows his way through. Ash will find McDonough. Got a solid D here for Booker. Oh, we get a back. Oh my goodness, this is now turning back to be a two-point lead. And this one a two-point trail for Utah. They're going in the way. They're just they got the ball quick in time. Ian back to ball. Back to Ian. Moves over to Booker. Booker drives inside. Good. Another two-pointer releases for Booker. 11 points and a timeout is called by Utah. Only 2.08 to go here in the fourth quarter. This is a fun, fun game out there. The second one is starting out to be a terrific start here to be here for the first quarter. And I think the finishing game of the first will be the Suns to deliver it off. The next game for the uh, uh, number of schedule that we will bring things back here is the only uh, players that can definitely try to do things along. It will be the Boston Celtics against Milwaukee Bucks here at the Pfizer Bet Forum for the first game. And then the next game we will have is the uh, number one to go for a great on attack, the Grizzlies and the Warriors. That will be in between the second seed versus the third seed. There might be some tough matchups that we can go for. Another quick chance if there is a choice opportunity to go right into bounds. The inbound is really that difficult to make a decision. I know that was very tough, but hey, not to worry. They got a lot of them to go down. Now, here are your New Balance player of the game. The first game in the conference semifinals goes out to Devin Booker. Devin Booker is only his toughest rebound here in this game. Only time can tell that Devin Booker was on a show here for tonight. And for the real NBA playoffs, he wants to bring things back here to the finals. I wonder what he's going to be doing here for next uh, career. He might be going to be a legendary player that he can go for. Well, well, we'll have to make a questionable decision out here. He could be staying here longer with the team of the Phoenix Suns. 
And we're approaching down to two minutes left to remain in the fourth quarter. Two minutes remaining in the game. 50 to 46 is your score. Ball on Clarkson. Rush off the call for three. It's off the bound and the eight in. Gets an eighth rebound here. Looking for ten rebounds here in the first game. DeAndre Ayton has side. Ball moves over to Boca. Now he wants his motion to get right by it. Ball with the screen. Five to shoot. And Booker wins off. It goes right in the paint. A beautiful drive. It's 52-46. It's Booker has 13. Clarkson inside. And goes in. And McDonough scores a drive. And it's Clarkson with the assist. This was going to be a very tough play through out there. Clarkson did find the open pass. Now this was going to be a very tough call to get right on the inbound. Ball outside. Ball inside. And foul count and one. He is all over the place. He was definitely a delivery of the moment, motivation that he really would like to swip things off. And this now changes up to here for a new changeup for Utah as Clarkson checks out and Mitchell's checked in. Shooting one is Chris Paul. CP3, that's his name, the nickname. And that will go in. Paul delivers it out with a five point in his game. Now Donovan Mitchell, last minute to play here in the regulation period. This one gets off to Crowder. Now he will deliver off to Paul. It's off to Aiden. Goes back to Booker. Booker sends it off to Crowder. Goes off to McCall Bridges. Backing over Paul. Five to shoot. And Aiden's going for three. Yes, sir! He made it! And it's Paul with the assist. It's a ten-point lead for the Phoenix Suns to make a win in the first game. They are all on fire. They really do. What a show run. And Aiden gets the steal. Here comes a 3-on-1. Booker! Took it through. What a bad favorite. They all have the valley to push their way up the limits pace. They are going for the first time here, coming back in the game. And he stepped out of bounds. It's a turnover on Utah. Now the last changeup will be occurred. All five players checked out. All five players checked in. Here's Peyton, delivering off, 10 seconds to go. He will close the quarter here, and for this uh, amazing time, it's about to expire here. Well, what a first game win streak here for Phoenix Suns. They have the five wins here in the NBA playoffs. And the final score was like no option about that one. 60 to 48, the final score. They are all ready to break things here. The right out bleed up here in the valley really does it all. And that should conclude the first game. Stick around later as we will have the next game here in the Stanley Cup playoffs in game number one. Here to start things off here in the second round. And the tip off being the motion, we'll see you all back here in between the hockey and basketball. Now it's time to send you over to Summit Beast for close out the game. I'm me phone with OJ. Have a good night in the valley. All right, Mifon, thank you very much here. What a win here for Phoenix Suns, as this one's a turn out to be an unsoddable play here for the winning game tonight. 60-48, to 48. unbelievable with the uh, adoption to make them play for. And the second game looks like we wanted to see the uh, original icon of the court. We haven't seen it on here, but it looks like I think we're about to see what it goes here. So, I guess that might be the only time. I can definitely tell here than ever before. Here are your three star players of the game. Starting off with number three, this one really dubs it out. And I don't know what to tell you. Jay Crowder gets 11 points in this game. 
and only turned out to be two rebounds, and he only had a turnover that made a release spin. Not for long, he's all he's all perfect out there on the court for starting the first round. Number two goes to Devin Booker, 15 points, one rebound, three assists, and a performing dunk here in the fourth quarter. I know what to tell you. There can be a lot of uh, a lot of play-in drives and great marketing feed here in between the players that wants to give it all. And for number one, this one has to be a shockable run here tonight. I don't know what to say, but let me tell you this. This is all on my Donovan Mitchell. 17 points, 4 assists, and just a turnover that releases up here for the first game. And yeah, that was very tough and brutal. Nobody else had, had a ball, but it comes down here just like that. And best defensive player of the game, this one goes right to, I know what you call for, DeAndre Ayton. He had one block. What a perfect run on the board ability. That turned it off. So that does it for the first game here of the of the Western Conference. We will have a next Western Conference game as the Warriors will take on against the Memphis Grizzlies here in the second round in the semifinals. And then back in the Eastern Conference, we will have the Bucks and Celtics at Pfizer.forum here in Milwaukee. Thank you all for watching. And if you're tuning us here for the next game of the Stanley Cup playoffs, we will be right back with you for the next one to give us a start. So thank you for watching the NBA. And until next time, peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. This has been a presentation and I am Sonny, and I'm your house son of beast. This is just the beginning here of the second round of the Western Conference. We all enjoyed it. Make sure you like it too by hitting that subscribe button, and if you don't, somebody will. Thank you for joining us. See you all in the next game.